custom sort order logic is already covered in the Zebra BI knowledge base. But what do you do if you actually want to have a custom sort order, but you simply miss the column you need in your data model and for some reason it can't be added? I'm going to show you how you can manually add a table in order to have a custom sort order for a simple column or even for a hierarchy. Let's see what we have in a data model right now. I have a basic regions table, which in real life could have many more columns to it, of course, but for demonstration purposes, I just limited it to a region ID, country name, and continent name. So what is missing is the two columns for the country sort and the continent sort. So let's create a new table, which contains exactly the two missing columns. What I already did is that I have prepared a table which is exactly the one I want to load into Power BI. It contains the country name, the continent name, and the two columns which I will be using for the sorting. So what you can do is you can simply copy everything from the Excel table and then back in Power BI desktop in the home tab, select enter data and in the pop-up window, in the create table window, you can just go and paste in what you have previously done in Excel. You could also, of course, simply type in the table information that you want to have. Let's also give a name to this table. Let's call it region sort order. And when I click on load, this additional table is added to the data model. Once the table is loaded, you can go back to the data view and add the two new columns to the original table. So basically we want to add the two columns from this table to our original regions table. To do this, you use the, the function new column. So let's add the first new column. First, we need to give it a name. We want to call it country sort. And then you can use this, the lookup function, the lookup value function, actually. So when I type in lookup value, first, we need to add the result column name. The result column name is from our new table, and it is the um, country sort column from the new table. This is the result. Enter. The next um, argument we need to add is the search column name. So where will we be searching? We will be searching in the country name column also of the new table. So the country of the region sort order table. Confirm with enter. And now the search value, and the search value is actually from our existing original table, also the country name. This is very similar to a VLOOKUP formula in Excel, actually. So it is the country name from this table. And when I hit enter, you will see that now I get an additional column named country sort and it contains exactly the same values as in the table which I have just previously added. There's still one column missing, it's the sort order for the continent. And the easiest way to add this additional column is to just go into the existing formula, hit Ctrl A to select everything and copy it. And then again, in table tools, we add a new column and then you can paste in the code you just copied and just replace country with continent. Not only in the name, but of course also down here. This would be continent sort, continent sort like this. And here we would also have not country, but continent. 
and one more country goes away and we add continent fantastic and now you have this table and with this table you can of course then add um, custom sort order logic by by going back to the report view and saying that you actually want to not only sort the country by the name but by this additional column country sort as we have already um, shown in the Zebra BI knowledge base so please make sure to go there and check out the other articles which explain how to actually set up the custom sort order logic.